Hey there, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to set up FL Studio to get clean, clear, quality vocal recordings. And also, there are some common problems that you may face while trying to achieve these results, and I'll be showing you how to solve them as well. So if you're new, hit the subscribe button down below, and let's get started. So right, you have FL Studio open, and the first thing you want to do is come to your options, come to your audio settings, then this is the most important part. Change your audio device to your audio driver. Once you have that set, it's going to make use of your audio interface because that has more quality and control of your recording session. Then the next thing you want to set up is your buffer length. Now this affects how much lag you hear in your vocal recordings, okay? So if you want to hear lag or delay when you're recording your vocals, you want this to be as low as possible. Now if you're using a high powered CPU, I recommend you go about 16 to 32 samples, okay? But if you're using a mid-range to low budget CPU or PC, you can get away with about 100 samples or 96 samples, okay? So most times I try not to go above this number because anything above that, you may experience some delay in your vocal recordings. So I'm going to keep mine just around less than 50 so I get, you know, even much better results. Now the next thing you want to set up is on your mixer, okay? So we're going to come to our insert, then we're going to come to your mic input. Now it's important that you choose mono, not stereo, okay? My audio interface has two inputs, so I'm going to choose the input that has the mic recorded, okay? So right now I have this mic connected to input two. The next thing I'll do is left click this icon right here and make sure I have external inputs only and also make sure I click off so that we don't hear feedback while we are recording because many artists don't like hearing feedback while they record. But if you want to hear feedback, you can turn it on, okay? Or you can leave it on when armed. Either one is fine. When you have that set, I can just rename this to lead vox or vox recording or vocal recording then i can come to my playlist right click come to track mode and then come to audio track and i have just selected this right here you can see it's going to be routed so whenever i record anything it's going to come in here so if i click record mic check one two mic check one two so you can see that it's recording so if i press play mic check one two mic check one two two so you can hear that it sounds really clean and clear, okay? And you can set as many inputs as you want. You can create for your backup vocals, you can create for your harmonies, you can create for, you know, if you have a guitar, you know, you can record that as well with the same settings. Now, if maybe, you know, you want to have like overdubs or takes, it's also easy. I don't have to create a new insert. All I have to do is just hit record. And it's going to create a chain drop down right here. So if I click record, Mic check, one, two, mic check, one, two, three, four, five, six, three, four, five, six. So you can see the both of them right here actually links to the same insert. You can see track one, track one, they are both links. And if I press play, mic check, one, two, three, four, five, six, three, four, five, six. So you can see they're all linked. Okay. And this is how you get your vocals into FL Studio real easy and fast. Then you can go ahead and apply effects on the inserts if you want to. You can apply tuning or you can apply EQ and you can, you know, adjust it as you'd like to get your settings done. I do have a vocal preset for recording and mixing vocals. You can get the link will be in the description of this video so you can get clean, clear quality recordings and mixes for your vocals. Hey there, before going any further, I want to let you know you can sign up for our online course program. We'll teach you how to mix vocals, how to mix a beats professionally from start to finish. Whether you're a beginner or you're a professional or looking to dive into Afro beats and I'm a piano mixing, you can get it from our website, sctutorials.com or click the link in the description. This also comes with a project file that you can learn and get acquainted with the steps and processes. Now, again, from beginner to advanced. So whether you've not had any experience before, you've had some experience, but you want to really polish up, this course is going to take you there, okay? So the course is thorough and will definitely give you great results. And you also get free updates whenever we learn anything new or we feel like there's some change, especially with the AI changes happening right now. You always get free updates on the course at no extra cost. Now, let's get back to the video. Now, there are some common issues you face when you're trying to record your vocals in FL Studio. The most common one is delay when you record your vocals. That means when you're trying to record on a beat, it sounds like your voice is lagging. Now, how do you fix that? It's real simple. Come to options, audio settings again adjust the buffer length. You may need to go a bit lower so that you have less delay. And if you still have delay when you reduce this below 100, okay, try to stay below 100 samples. So if you still have issues after doing that, the next thing you want to do is remove effects. 
that you have on your mixer, okay, especially heavy third party effects like autotune, for example, it can be CPU intensive. Okay, so some plugins have low latency mode. Where if I click this, I can simply choose a low latency. But if you don't see this in your options of any of your plugins, just simply delete or deactivate the plugins for the time being. Then when you're done recording, you can load them up in your mixing session. Now, the second issue that a lot of people face when trying to record vocals in FL Studio is the vocals coming from one ear, maybe the left or the right. It's very easy to fix. And to fix that, just come to your insert where you linked your mic or your vocals. Just come to the inputs and then make sure you're using the mono, okay? Not stereo. Some people do end up using the stereo input one and two. Make sure you're either using input two or input one, okay? Depending on where your mic is connected because if you're using stereo, it's going to come from either the left or the right. But if you're using mono, it's going to come from straight center, okay? It's going to come from the center. So you want to avoid using the stereo. Now, the third issue that a lot of people face when trying to record vocals in FL Studio is that their voice is not loud on the beat. Now, typically, I recommend just simply reduce the volume of the beat, okay? Because most times, most beats or instrumentals are mastered or mixed loudly, okay? So when you drop the volume of the beat, it makes it easier for you to record your vocals and you'll be able to hear yourself clearly and not have distortion or clipping, okay? So that's an easy fix I recommend. But if you still have issues, I recommend you just use a compressor then I can simply increase the gain only. I don't need to adjust anything here for now. Just simply increase the gain to the level I like. Now, the reason why this is better than increasing your inputs gain is that this is non-destructive. Your inputs gain may cause clipping or distortion, okay? But with this, you can reverse it in the future and prevent clipping or distortion, which can be hard to fix in the mix. And the fourth issue you may experience when you're trying to record vocals in FL Studio is hearing echo in your voice while you're recording. Now, this typically happens when your headphone is loud and you have the monitoring turned on. So if I come right here, you can see this monitoring. Again, this is why most times it's ideal to turn it off because when it's on, as you rap or as you sing, you're going to be hearing yourself in real time. And if the microphone picks that up, it's also picking up your voice as well in real time. So if headphones is very loud and it can hear your voice through your headphones, it can cause a feedback loop and cause that echo you hear okay so most times you just turn it off and then the last but not the least common issue you face while trying to record vocals in fl studio is noise in your vocal recordings which is also easy to fix now most noise removal plugins can be cpu intensive okay but so i recommend you use the stock noise removal plugin in fl studio and i'm going to come to fruity limiter then you simply come right here and play with the noise gates now i already have that preset in the afro vocal mixing template if i come to the restoration right here i have for third party and i have for fl studio you can see i have the the, the SR and the denoiser that is the noise remover so if i drag it right here noise remover you can see i already have it this is my settings so you may copy this but you can also tweak this to fit your settings but this will help minimize the noise in your vocal recordings now it may not take it at 100 percent but it's going to do a really good job at reducing the noise so when you get to the mixing stage you can really take out what you need to take out. So this is how you set up FL Studio for recording vocals. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials, tips, and tricks. Cheers.